again it's Francis welcome back to my channel today I've got an enormous canvas the size of which I've forgotten so I'll put it on the details below <laughs> uh, but this is massive for me because normally obviously I'm on a, a little vinyl and I've coated it in white um, quite vaguely so but I'm gonna do a, a Dutch pour with the, uh, the hairdryer um, and this is for a friend of mine who's, who's asked me to do greens and blues so I'm just going to do like a kind of a swirl here, I think, and then blow it out. This is not where my kind of area of I know what I'm doing. So we will see. Blues and green, she said, predominantly uh, and a bit of yellow and some gold. So this is going to be the blue part. And then we'll go with a bit of green. So these are all my usual, I'll go from this side I think, my usual um, paints. So they're predominantly kind of Wilkinson type paints, but I do have a few um, gorgeous like this, for example, this one is a Pebio green. Um, I can, again, if anyone's interested in the details, I can put them in below. That's such a good green, that one. And then we'll go with a bit of yellow. I don't want to put too much yellow, maybe just like a little glimpse here and there. If that will come through. I'll put gold on last. This is a really nice kind of sea green. I'm really into this colour at the moment. Uh, so let's put that one. And then, well, have I not put this light green? I think it needs more blue, actually. This is very green heavy. So this is a nice light blue. There's a lot of paint going on here. Whoops. <laughs> put a bit more blue there to even that out. And then I've got this. Uh, this is, again, this is a Pebio. Um, uh, blue, which has again got a bit of sparkle in, so we all we always love a bit of sparkle, don't we? I do anyway. And then we're going to finish with the gold. I think I've got all the colours on. Let's see what happens. It's the most exciting part. Uh, now I've got this huge vat of um, white, which I need a little, I had a, oh, this will do, to stir it up. Um, and I'm going to pour this around it to kind of have a cushion for it to go. Woo! That's not enough for the paint to be blown over. That's apparently <laughs> the idea. Okay, so fingers crossed that's enough. There might not be enough here actually. This is a, um, a large tub from Hummus. So that's the massive Hummus tub that <laughs> I've already used. The, the whole thing took one, one massive Hummus tub. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I measure <laughs> in Hummus tubs. I don't know. <laughs> That's probably not very helpful for people. If it isn't, then I'm sorry. Okay, so here's my hair dryer. Um, I am going to um, do this first, actually. And just because I can see quite a few bubbles, I'm going to just, because I've just mixed up quite a few of these paints, get rid of some of these bubbles first, and then I'll get going. It's very exciting. I'm excited and scared. So here we go. Ready? Ah, not really. Okay, how does this work? I'm going on the lowest first. Okay, that's not going to do it.
we go. Wow. Okay, this is quite exciting. Um, I'm going to, hmm, I don't know what I'm doing now. I'm going to see about blowing a few bits out a little bit more. Hmm, I might need my straw. It's pretty though. I like it. It's quite sea-ish, isn't it? It's like sea jewels. I might actually get my little mini blower and see if I can do something with that. I'm going to probably want to pause. Okay, I'm back. I've got my little blower, but it's not a particularly long line, so I'm just going to do see what happens anyway. Make it a bit more white. Okay, wow, I'm really loving this. I hope you do, and I certainly hope that the lady I've done it for does. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play around with it for a few minutes, and then I'm going to bring you in for a close-up. You can already start seeing there's little uh, cells coming up everywhere. It's really pretty, very sea-ish. <laughs> it's very me. <laughs> I hope she likes it. So I shall uh, let you have a look when I've finished. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, here is the close-up. I've had a bit of a play around with it. I had to add a bit more white on the edges. Okay, so we'll start at the bottom left-hand corner. Well, this could be the top, who knows? Oh, earlier on I forgot to put my microphone back on. I hope that didn't ruin <laughs> ruin it for people and that they couldn't hear what uh, that you couldn't hear what I was saying. So that's all the white, and, and it will hopefully dry all nice and 
and uh, flat and everything to see the dried version this is looking a lot yellower in the, on the camera than it is in real life if I come up a bit um, to see the dry version if you fancy having a look on my Instagram then um, that would be lovely it's Francis underscore brown underscore art try and show you without the glare of the of the lamp I'm loving these colors so let me know what you think it is my biggest piece up to now uh, and I really like it I think it's it's quite spectacular so there we go enjoy and have a lovely day lots of love bye bye <laughs>